Oh, we are now nearing the end of 2022 and who boy has it been a fantastic year for video games. And like everyone else on YouTube, it's time to count down the best games of 2022. Now there will be some glaring omissions from this list. Now that is not down to not liking the games, this is just down to the fact that I probably don't own the games or I just haven't played it. These are games which I own and have played this year. So without further ado, these are my top five games of 2022. Let's get going! Let's begin! Starting the top five, we have, go on wee man, go on Pikachu, choose my man, it's Pikachu. Pokemon Legends Arceus, which was brought to the Nintendo Switch at the start of 2022 and was developed by Game Freak. Now in this, you will be following your selected main character who has been sent back in time to the Hisu region. And I've probably said that wrong, but hey ho. <laughs> you will be tasked with compiling the very first Pokedex. Now this game did bring a lot of firsts to the series, one being the open world direction, also being able to capture Pokemon in the wild without going into a battle screen. It was just all seamless. Now the game did get a bit of slating when it first came out, but I tell you what, I never really got into a Pokemon game as much as this since Pokemon Yellow. I just love my time with it. it. I found it quite relaxing weirdly enough, and it is definitely my surprise game of the year. So did you ever play this game? What did you think? Let me know down below. Let's see what's next. And in at number 4 we have The Legend of Heroes Trails from Zero, which finally got a western release in 2022. Now in this we will be following Lloyd Bannings and the SSS as they protect the citizens in Crossbell in this fantastic JRPG from the JRPG masters themselves, Falcom. Now, I have actually released a video on why you should play this game, but I actually love this game. I am a big Trails fan and I started off my Trails journey with Cold Steel, so I'm kind of working my way back with these games and I tell you what, the Crossbell arc is just unbelievably good. So, if you've never played a Trails game, this is be really a great starting point for you. But, if you're going to delve into this game, or if you've already played it, let me know down below about what your thoughts were. What's going to be next? And in at number 3, it's Xenoblade Chronicles 3 which was released for the Nintendo Switch in 2022. Now in this we will be following Noah and Mia with their companions in this story driven JRPG about defying fate from Monolith Soft. Now Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is the last game in the Xenoblade Chronicles trilogy and it brings in a lot of aspects of the first game and the second game and ties off things quite nicely. Now, this was set to be on the path of my game of the year. However, as much as I enjoyed Xenoblade Chronicles 3, I still enjoyed Xenoblade Chronicles 2 more. Boo! Boo! <laughs> to be honest, um, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 was my first Xenoblade game, so that's why that always is so high up for me. There was some things in Xenoblade Chronicles 3 um, which just stopped this from being Game of the Year for me. Again, this is a fantastic game, it has the most refined gameplay and I do not take anything away from it. Have you played Xenoblade Chronicles 3 or are you planning to play it in the next wee while? Let me know down below. Anyway, what is next on this list? Activating combat mode. And in at number two, it is Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion, which was released in December of 2022. And we will follow soldier operative Zack Fair in this amazing true remaster 
of the prequel to Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core. Now, as a huge Final Fantasy VII fan, this of course was going to be on this list. The true achievement here from Square Enix is the unreal amount of work which has been done into this remaster. Everything has been modernised, up to, from the visuals, the music, the voice acting, to fall in line with the Final Fantasy VII Remake series. Also, this is by far one of the best looking titles natively on the Switch. I absolutely love this game. The combat in this is just fantastic and just feels excellent. But have you played Crisis Core or are you planning on getting it? Maybe Santa might bring you it. Let me know down below. So what has grabbed the number one spot? Let's find out. Conflict resolved. And in at number one is Sonic Frontiers, which is my game of the year. Now in this we will follow Sonic the Hedgehog as he explores the Starfall Islands in search of a way to save his friends whilst fighting the colossal sized enemies known as the Titans in this open zone adventure from Sonic Team. Sonic Team have finally cracked the 3D Sonic formula and it is an utter joy as a Sonic fan to play Sonic Frontiers. From design, gameplay mechanics, down to a more mature story, this game has everything for me as a Sonic fan. Also, did I mention the Titan boss battles? What an utter spectacular feeling it was first taking on the Titans. We're also living in a world where Sonic Frontiers has produced one of the best soundtracks of the year and the song Undefeatable, which features the singer from Sleeping With Sirens, was just unreal and I listen to that song all the time now. I played this game on the Switch and I would highly recommend anyone to play it on the Switch as well. It ran very smoothly and I never came across any bugs in the game. So there we have it, there are my top 5 games of the year. I would love to know what your top 5 are. Let me know down below. And please help me grow the channel by liking, sharing and subscribing. Until next time, tatty bye!